Hello everybody, and welcome to my playthrough of SnowRunner. Today is the day that we move to a new map in the region of Michigan. It's called Island Lake. We have briefly popped into this map before to pick up an upgrade and drop off a curtain side trailer. But now we're going to be visiting the map proper. So what are we doing today? As you can see from the screen, Lumber Mill Revival is activated. Now you might be wondering where this trailer came from. A few episodes ago, I brought the P-16 back from Smithfield Dam. I also dragged the White Western Star back with me. This allowed me to pick up the vital cargo for the Lumber Mill Revival mission. As you know if you've been watching the series, the curtain side trailer is already in Island Lake. So we just need to drag this trailer down to the lumber mill and then go and collect the curtain side trailer. I'll get the route planned out and then I'll head off. Let's get going. As by now, you've seen most of Drummond Island, I'm going to hit overdrive and I'll come back just before we reach the travel point.
well, the White Western Star made that look easy. This is a fantastic truck, and I'm glad I'm using it more in this playthrough. Let's get into the travel area and make our way to Island Lake. I'll see you there. And here we are. We're going to be spending a bit of time on this map. And I'm sure there'll be new challenges, as well as the usual I've lost my vehicle tasks to complete. But that's for the future. The lumber mill is quite easy to find as it's a straight shot down this road. Just make sure to go left at the fork and you'll be fine. On one of my visits to this map, I discovered a fuel tanker. So on the way, I'm gonna go and grab that and pull it nearer the road so I can refuel here as there's no garages. Don't worry though, there's plenty of fuel on this map if you know where to find it. I'll hit overdrive again and I'll see you when we're at the lumber mill. Bushstock Lumber Mill. Interesting name. Anyway, we've arrived at the Lumber Mill. I'm going to drop off the trailer just to the side here, as we can't deliver it yet. This is because the curtain side trailer is required first. It seems like ages ago now, but I dropped the curtain side trailer off on the other side of this swamp. Unfortunately, 
The two bridges that connect the two sides are out at the moment. There is another route, but it just takes a bit longer to get to the other side. So once again to speed things up, I'll hit overdrive and I'll see you on the other side of the swamp. With this conveniently placed fuel trailer, I'll take on some fuel for the return trip. The curtain side trailer is just off to the left here. This trailer was originally located in Smithfield Dam, but as I previously mentioned, I brought it over in an earlier episode. I'll hook up the trailer and then make the return journey to the lumber mill the same way we came here. I need to turn round, so I'll hit overdrive and I'll see you at the lumber mill. And here we are, at the lumber mill. I'll drop the curtain side trailer first, then hook up the other trailer, and deliver the items that are in that one. With the lumber mill open, we can start doing many of the other tasks that are required on this map. There are a lot of wooden bridges out, so this is going to be really helpful. I'll start this repair and reconstruction with Hunter Bob's bridge in the next episode. We also need to finish the contract power lines. So please do join me for that one. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. Or 
even subscribing to the channel. I think we're done here. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.